and welcome back to Morris Platoon 2. Last time we took on two very long levels, and this time we're taking on two more very long levels, starting with Octolings Ahoy, Moray Twilight. Now if you play Splatoon 1, you may be thinking, oh god, and your hunch is 100% correct there. We have an Octolings showdown on Moray Towers. Looks like you've got Octolings to deal with. Octo Snipers too. So, mini zapfishes need rescuing, and let's talk about this level. <laughs> people don't like Moray Tower. <laughs> I think that's another statement. Uh, most people think Moray Tower is like the worst map, and I'm actually in the minority who don't hate Moray Tower. <laughs> uh, I think it's average, I think it's annoying, but I actually don't think it's the worst level. Which again, a lot of people do. And I think it's just partly because it tends to be very one-sided. Uh, there are a lot of ways to sneak into the enemy base and ink that up and sort of camp, like spawn camp. I've seen a lot of spawn camping and I will say this is not the most balanced map. It does tend to fall prey to that. You're very thorough, Agent 4. I love that line actually. Also this. Take that an inanimate object. Yeah, we sure showed it. Who's boss. This Maria's constant, like, snide remarks, just, they are really good. They're very well written, and yeah, Maria's a good character in this game. Like, I was never the biggest fan of Marie. I know most people like Marie the best, but I was always kind of neutral. Uh, but Maria's writing is really good, so that kind of changed my opinion on Marie to some extent. I should have picked the Duelies for this, what am I doing? This was a mistake. I should have gone with the dualies, aka the weapon I'm most comfortable with. I mean, we're balanced, but uh, <laughs> balance doesn't mean a whole lot if you're not doing well. Uh, I missed the thing, didn't I? I'm pretty sure there's a thing to help me out, and I ran right past it, I'm pretty sure. So let's uh, not die, first of all. And also, let's go up here to double check. Nope, I guess I was not remembering correctly. So let's just head over here. Uh, this was a mistake. This was a huge mistake. I broke a splatling, not a splatling, a zapfish uh, case without even trying with an accidental uh, curling bomb. So yeah, that's that's a thing that you can do. <laughs> Accidentally doing uh, the objective. It's me in most games. So yeah, every time you get a zapfish, you get a checkpoint, so you can kind of be a little gutsy. Just run in. Be brave. This was this is bad. This is bad. We're gonna just chill over there for a moment and then uh, try to duck over here. Now, I'm not really worrying about collectibles until we take out the Octo Snipers, uh, which I feel like is a fair objective. I think we have plenty of time to cruise uh, after we clear this, but I would really like to clear out the Snipers at least, first. Is that a, an, an Ink Rail? That is, that is totally an Ink Rail. Let us use that Ink Rail because this helps a lot, actually. A little bit of a trap there, but we got, uh, power eggs, hooray, and more zapfish. This I'm pretty relentless, but I'm gonna get this guy just to build up my lives again. Since he's there. Now we can kind of swing back uh, and grab this guy. Something you can grab right here as the sunken scroll, so we still need the sardinium. I think it's at the end. I made this exact mistake again, <laughs> trying to approach from this side. Okay, got him. Okay, that helps uh, immensely, actually. It helps a lot. <sighs> so... I 
being a little careful. Just a tad careful. There we go. Final checkpoint. Ah, uh, now we can get our revenge. We can definitely get our revenge now by doing that and that. I'm pretty sure there was a map, like a special map, uh, for a Splatfest. More on that later. Uh, that actually did incorporate those cannons, but I'm actually glad most don't, because the cannons are kind of difficult to deal with. There's no way to really counter them. So if I am not mistaken, uh, we need to pass up this now. We need to come up here, uh, into the enemy spawn. Uh, panicking ever so slightly <laughs> by all the chaos. And there is a Sardinia, now we're gonna uh, kinda GTFO. Just run like heck. Get the frick out of here. And done. <laughs> okay, that was... That was really chaotic, but we, we survived. We somehow survived. So that was... a thing. And, of course, the boss kettle, as per usual. Pandemonium ensued when Popstar Callie was spotted at the airport by fans after wrapping up filming for her upcoming TV drama New Sardine. <laughs> she smiled through it all, but it's clear to this reporter that the pressure of fame is getting to her. So that was before she disappeared, obviously. Yay! Uh, let us go to the boss now. Is this... this is right. Uh, by the way, actually really quickly I want to double check. <laughs> making sure I actually collected everything, and I did. I am that forgetful that I have to actually stop and remember what I've actually collected. Sanitar Sanitizerium. The Octo Shower, and this is a Sheldon's request. This is a case of a Sheldon's request being exceedingly, exceedingly helpful because holy cow, this level is not fun with certain weapons. And that's all I'm gonna say about it for now. Cleanser of Inklings, the Octo Shower. So this is a really hard boss fight. Like, a really hard boss fight. Uh, you have to snipe really well. This is actually going surprisingly smoothly. Uh, but you're probably wondering how you're supposed to do this normally. Uh, they give you a lot more bounce pads in other weapon uh, situations. In this level, you have to just snipe, but uh, otherwise they give you a bounce pad periodically, like... I think a couple of the different little four corner things have different bounce pads on them to help you reach it, but it's a really hard fight. This is a really time-consuming fight with anything other than probably the splatling in this, the charger. So yeah, you just gotta be fast. Before he can mess you up, pretty much. Uh, case in point, he can mess you up really quickly if you're not ready for him. That attack is really nasty, so definitely be on guard. So yeah, he's got basically a splat wing to try to take us out, so that's great. Uh,. This is actually going a lot better than my original run, uh, to be blunt. This took me forever, even with the charger. Plus, I'm actually using different settings than when I first started playing. I have way more sensitive settings, and people always say, crank up the sensitivity if you're sniping. So, apparently that actually is really good advice, because it's actually helping. Now he's got a stingray of his own. 
Now they're like special octocopters that move faster. So now he's doing the shower move. By the way, I haven't actually tried that, but a good example of using curling bombs is in this level. If he's about to do the little shower move and you're kind of in a spot with no ink, you can definitely use curling bombs to help get you out of the way. That was surprisingly smooth, actually. That was, like, remarkably smooth. Poor rubber ducky, though. Sardinium and zapfish. Run, leave now, and never look back. Are... are you holding the phone upside down? Ah, uh, I totally was. Callie? Ah, uh, nope, this is definitely not Callie, so just leave. It's dangerous here, and it's not safe at all. Um, don't those mean the same thing? Whatever, just get out of here. I'm not calling again. Wait, don't go. Callie? Callie? I can't believe it. Can Callie really be working with the Octarians, Agent 4? I need your help now more than ever. You're not much of a talker, are you? Well, you're still here, so I'm going to keep telling you to do stuff. Let's go. And there's the big reveal. Callie is working with the Octarians. But why, pray tell? We just have to wait and see. There's surely a logical reason. I remember this cost so much, uh... Speculation. One of the original pieces of artwork. Okay, Callie and the Great Sapphish are up ahead. Let's do this, Agent 4. Uh, one piece of artwork features a figure that kind of looked like Callie, uh, and that caused so much speculation back in the day, Callie being evil. So it wasn't too much of a surprise, but it was definitely kind of uh, interesting. Everyone speculating of why Callie is working with the Octarians. Some speculated that uh, she was trying to help them with some noble cause, others suspected brainwashing. But this is it. This is actually the last main area. Cephalon HQ. It sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna say right now. Uh, it sucks. Uh, we're actually not gonna end this part. We still have a few minutes left, so we're gonna actually cruise. Because holy cow, this level's... Kind of a pain. By the way, I think that is our uh, sunken scroll. So that's gonna be fun, trying to <laughs> get a sunken scroll that is flying in the air. So this is a pain to navigate. I'm just gonna be real with you. I don't like this level. Uh, it is a pain to navigate. You have to use these different colored saucers. The pink ones and the... Uh, Yellow ones go in different patterns, as you may be able to guess. So we have to actually kind of use both to our advantage. Let's try this. <laughs> nope, that's not gonna happen. So this is fun. You have to time uh, a lot of things here. So this is to a level. I'm just gonna show what the, what you have to deal with. You have to time this. I can't believe that worked. I thought it would be mistimed, but that actually worked. So, uh, then just climb up here. And this should be 26 or 27. 24. Uh, so that's gonna be a little later. But that's the kind of thing you have to do here. Crazy platforming and platooning of all things. There's another level up right above us at the moment. Which requires going through that little junction there. So we're gonna ink this up, jump here, hit this fan, uh, dodge the car washing thingies. I don't actually know what they're called. That was a mistake. Uh, the drink tickets, that box right there where the cursor was. Uh, so we can grab that right here. And by the way, if you get the drink tickets, I think they become power eggs if you come back here. 
so just for future reference. And this should be level uh, 27, I want to say. This should actually be 27. Yep, so I was right about that one. Uh, I'm just going to open up some of these. I'm not going to open them all up right now. I just want to show how ridiculous the actual platforming can be. <laughs> so now we actually need to go back to the center area because I think this is all we can do with the pink platforms. So now there's still the blue platforms and the yellow platforms. That was almost a mistake, but it worked, so I'm happy about that. Not quite sure how that worked, but it worked. So this is a fun segment. Uh, let's jump over here. Um, weird little platforming there. We have a lot of unfurl unfurlers to deal with. So you have to hit three in quick succession and climb up before they collapse. And on top of one of this block's uh, sides should be the level entrance. <laughs> Meaning it's kind of a gamble, unfortunately. Just gotta try each one. It's the one with the lights, I think. There should be 23, yeah. I was gonna say 24, but we already found 24. We actually found most of the levels. We have like three left. I think we're gonna have to cut before we actually find them all. I just want to show off some of the platforming uh, live without practice really. I did practice this a little bit off screen. Not a lot though. Uh, it's charges a good weapon by the way uh, for this one because you can launch ink so far away. Because as you can see, invisible platforms. Yeah, we still need the yellow platforms, basically. Uh, that's pretty much all that's left. But hey, I don't need to show you how to get to uh, those levels. You just warp to them, which saves a lot of time. And this is kind of a crapshoot, actually. You just have to kind of shoot ink a lot and hope you hit the platform you need. Which is interesting. But, I mean, they kind of show you there's a checkpoint there so it's kind of an interesting way because the checkpoint's like yeah there's invisible stuff here uh, but they don't exactly make it clear where it even is so it's kind of interesting design it's subtle game design and I actually appreciate that to be honest I actually like it when video game design is kind of subtle and uh, not entirely in your face like when puzzles like puzzle aspects aren't like super obvious. Now, obviously I don't like things being uber cryptic, but uh, some level of confusion is actually kind of fun. Or some mystery. This is the level we're actually going to be doing next time. If I'm not mistaken. Let's just jump for it. That was a mistake, almost. Uh, right, right here. Of 22, uh, Octobrush with Danger, so that will be our next stop. I think I'm actually not going to reveal the other levels off screen. I think I am going to show how to find them in intricate detail, just because I think it's kind of fun, <laughs> kind of blindly guessing. Also, that can happen when you're dealing with visible platforms. But yeah, this is our next level, so thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Splatoon 2.